You are watching the biggest, the largest, the highest, the greatest, the tallest, and the mightiest African spiritual platform. I'm always Queen Hadasha. Call me Labraska because I am the one and only sun goddess. I am the spear of destiny. I am the world star number eight. I am Mami Grace. The I am a woman of peace. Always a woman of peace. I welcome you to your show. Today is going to be great because we are going to talk about God and mankind or humans. Uh, we need to know about it. I welcome you to Revelations. Okay, Busia Man Crank Rebia Kwa I appreciate you, my beautiful subscribers and my awesome following. Madam Wasi Bebe, some of my platform, no, I hear Kessia, and there, the fourth row, we have one of our fathers on set who is going to talk about the story of um, God and his created humans. We don't know how it's going to go, but that's what we are going to discuss now. So, as one big family, let's welcome our guest for today. Papa, we welcome you. Thank you. Very uh -huh. much. Today is your first time, so you have to pay obeisance to the followers and the subscribers. Greet them and then introduce yourself to us. Okay. Thank you for being on this show. My name is Isaac Niamh Akron, an author, a researcher, and a publisher. But I'm very much interested in releasing things that are needed by mankind, but are not in the system. Mm -hmm. To the extent that when I start a project and I realize that somebody is already working on it, I prefer handing over materials to the fellow to help improve whatever he or she is doing. I will only release it when it is not in the system, but it is needed. Uh, as an example, uh, the first book that I wrote was a catering book. You know, I have not done catering before. I quite remember years back uh, at the uh, end of year service prayer request, I told God I wanted to be uh, an author. And strangely, I was teaching at Tamale Poly, and the way the thing happened, eventually I have to release that catering book. And I stood there and I asked myself, why? Then I recollected uh, the prayer request. To the extent that uh, the two students who helped to proofread my book, they had distinction that year. Meanwhile, for over four, five years or so, only failures in the department. Yeah. So uh, that helped and other things, things also. Now, I will say that uh, because of time, I will just go straight to uh, why I'm here. No, but you have to introduce yourself to us. You are you are a researcher. Yeah. And so today here, how we are born, we are born researcher. Why you want them? And then how we are born, we are born story about God and His created humans. Yeah. And to know that, say we education, we are born, and our knowledge, we are born, and then is based on research, and are based on what? Uh, research and revelation. Research and revelation. Because anything that you have to know about God is a true revelation. Okay. We welcome you. Yeah. Okay, so right now, what are you? Are you a Christian? Are you a Muslim? What are you? Where do you belong to? We want to know so we are able to get your concept. I'm a Christian, mm -hmm. but I prefer to say I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. You prefer to say you're a child, of, a child God. of God. Do you belong to any fraternity? Uh, I used to. But uh, initially, I thought uh, they were frustrating me, and I came out. But I, later, I realized that it was God who brought me out. Huh? Yes. Why? Were you in the, devil, uh, the devil's kingdom? No. You see, <laughs> actually, the world that we are, or the world we see now, is a false world. It's a false world. When they show you black, it is white. When they show you white, it is actually black. 
and they, they, they are people behind the scene. And uh, it is huge. <sighs> and sometimes uh, when you are in the system, you don't see it. You have to come out of the system what like system an eagle. Is, what system is that? Uh, the system that has been created. Which is? A false world. Let me see it that, that way. Somebody who is watching us and would want to understand yeah, what we'll, you we'll mean come, by... We'll come to that. And uh, uh, they say, without faith, it is impossible to what? They praise God. But the same God will say, faith without works is dead. I'll prove it all here. Okay. You are watching the biggest and the largest. Um, I, I wanted to ask, I do randoms with, with him, but it seems his topic is quite huge. So I will go straight into the topic. I welcome you, my people. You are watching Revelations. I'm always the diacon. Uh huh. And the, um, that is, you see, you know, um, God, now can humans, you bet me a tray and no and so now the topic not to us. Because we need to know God. We need to know humans. When you say God and when you say humans, we need to understand. And so now you're delving into topic. And so we are able to get the knowledge. Excellent question. Mm. Once upon a time. Time, time. <laughs> there was God alone. When there was no time. Only God alone existed. Nothing physical existed. Because science has proven when all the things we see physically, they can pinpoint how long it has been in existence. And they call that reference the Big Bang. Theory. Everything started. So beyond that one, only God existed in the spiritual world with his spirit. Even Jesus was not part of it. Only God existed. And then God envisaged having fellowship with mankind in the physical world. So when God thought of our fellowship with us in the physical world, that's what brought about everything that we see, including the angels and Satan himself. And uh, that premium that God placed on mankind, that was what provoked Satan's anti-actions, which has ended up... Uh, but the nature of God also is that when he plans to do something, he also can see or foresee the, uh, what will happen and then make provision for it. For example, people did not understand why should God create Satan. No, he envisioned something good. Then being God, he also foresaw the counter uh, reactions. And he provided a solution even at the point of creation. So the death of Christ and everything was determined even before creation was put in place. Because God knew it was going to happen. So God created mankind in his image. Now, the man that God created was not clay, like a statue. It was not a statue. It was not a statue. Sometimes we, we assume God created a statue and breathed into that statue. And then that statue became a living No. It was a living body without a God's spirit. So a living body, but what? Dead soul. So God breathed his spirit into the soul, and the soul became what? Living. Because man, God gave, at uh, creation, God gave mankind two lives and two deaths, two types of deaths, two types of uh, lives. A spiritual life and a physical life life. A spiritual death and a physical death. Physical death is separation of the soul from the body. And what can cause the soul to separate from the body is pain. Anytime the soul experiences pain, the soul will leave the body. That's why physically when there's going to be an accident and the person who sees the accident even can have some cut all over but will survive. But the, because the soul is already aware of the environment. So he will sustain the body. And you will survive. But the person who is dozing, when the accident happens, the soul is likely to leave the body. So it's not aware. It's just that like you be in the room and then uh, there is smoke. You, the person who knows the source of the smoke, you are not scared. But those who don't know, they will run out of the building. So that brings about uh, physical death. And the spiritual death 
is when God's spirit leaves the soul. So though you are moving about, you are spiritual or dead towards God. Because when they say life, you have to be alive towards something. And you have to be de dead also towards something. To be uh, physically alive, it means you are physically alive towards the world, your physical world. And to be spiritual alive, to, to be spiritual alive towards God. When you say God, yeah. God, who is, which God are you referring to? He is the one who created everything. The creator. The creator. He was there alone. And he envisaged, he had a dream of uh, having fellowship with human beings. Okay, so God's name is the creator. The creator. So why don't we call him the creator by God? Excellent, we can call him the creator. Is he man or a woman? Well, uh, that is another issue that we have to think of uh, later, uh, later this thing. But now, I would like to go into that discussion now. Oh, so give me a, a yes or no. I'm <laughs> not saying explain, just if you have the answer. If you don't have to, let us know you don't have. Yes, I don't have. But I believe he's neither a, a man nor a woman. So what is he? Amophrodite. Uh, maybe he he will he will tell us when we meet. <laughs> yes, there are some things he will have to <laughs> know that they say when we get there he's going to judge us. Is he going to judge us? Is he going to judge us? Yes, he's actually going to judge us. For what? Because over here we are we are ambassadors on his behalf. Mm, yeah, so know? once they call it back, you have to account for your ambassadorial this thing, uh, duties. Uh -huh. But then, when we also hear, and then we need something to make us function well, and we call him, he should be able to respond. Otherwise, when we get there, we also judge him. Is he responding? He responds. Okay. I'll prove it here. Oh, Why sometimes ahead. he doesn't respond, then sometimes he responds. Okay, go ahead. A, a, a typical example is, excuse me to say, I'm not bringing, but uh, sometimes uh, we have to face the fact. Like the, the death of uh, Christian Achu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People, a lot of people did not understand. It was his own uh, goodness that led to... The death? Yes. Why well, God wants him back? No. And not only him. There's a lot of other... I'm giving instances. Mm -hmm. But that is very, very important. Okay, please go ahead. You see, when you start doing good to some people, and they, see, they, they can turn you into their God... They turn you to their God. To the extent that they don't know any other God but you. And they become, God becomes jealous and kills yeah, you. Not only God. In the spiritual realm, there are forces there. Not only God. So once they turn you into their God, then your life is at risk. Hey, any abusia? Yes. It um, nearly, yes can see who. At, at a point, I should, uh, something nearly happened to me. Uh, it's good I recount this thing. I was going to work as a taxi driver, and I passed my friend's place. He was having uh, a chronoe, what do you call it? Ancrodo, hernia. <laughs> hernia. Mm -hmm. And he asked me to uh, pray for him. After I returned around uh, 10 p.m., I passed there again. Then he asked me to sleep by him, otherwise he would die. I said, okay, let me go and bath and eat and come back. As I was eating... The voice I heard was that, are you God? So I decided not to go back. And I said, thank you, Lord, for that. I did not go back. I woke up early by 5 a.m. just to go and see what was happening. When I got there, his uh, door was just open. He was not inside. I waited for about 15 minutes, and I saw him coming from the darkness. Well, as he went from, he said he went and threw. So you see, if I had gone there, he would have died for me. Because? He saw me as his God. That if I don't come and sleep with him, he will die. How did he not go? So are you saying we should not do good? No, you should go do good. Mm -hmm. But any time they direct their praises to you, let them know that they can also become like you. They can also become like you. Whatever uh, make you good to them, no? They can also, because that is God's intention. It's a multiplier effect. But where you become a stop, they see you, you, you are their last stop. They are not uh, aspiring to also become like you and also offer help to other people. And in their hearts. Because the reason why, <laughs> they say when your, uh, mom, when your, my, uh, your mom and your father went to bed to conceive you, 
the possible people who could have been released into this world were 25 million and plus. But you alone succeeded. So why did God allow you alone to appear here? So his mission and everything for you, most of the time, most of the time, we don't consider uh, God's agenda for us. We have our own agendas. But if we consider God's agenda, I tell you, everything will, will fall in line. Hmm. Okay, so we want to know why God doesn't listen to people, some of us, and the Yeah, we'll, we'll, come, we'll, come to, we'll come to that. So God created Ad, uh, Adam and Eve in his image. And then we know they, they said they sinned against God. Now, and then they died. That death was a spiritual death. That God's spirit that he breathed into them, he made them spiritual alive towards God, left them. And the reason why he left them was that that spirit had not experienced disobedience before. It was uh, his first time. So it was like a shock. The difference between now and then. Now, the, that what the Bible says, don't grieve the Holy Spirit. And then he went on to say, don't quench the Holy Spirit. Now you can continue grieving the Holy Spirit until you quench it. But in Adam's uh, time, it was just one touch. The right now, Adam issue, people said it's just a symbolic. Some are saying there is a human being. Hey, Thank God, God is true. It is not symbolic. All those preaching symbolism and all those things, they have an agenda. Which, which is? To create a world without God. And they are in the process of doing it. They are almost succeeding. So how old is this world? How old is this world? Uh, uh, billions of years. So where was, uh, you said it was empty. Yeah. So mankind started from Adam and Eve. Uh, uh, mankind from Adam and Eve, I would say yes and no. Because? Because uh, the, the, the story, you see, the Bible we are holding is not complete. Hey. Yes. I I tell you, that's the truth. But somebody has tempered with it. Ah, okay. And those who are aware of some of the truths go to the state to say that they, they, they don't believe in the Bible. Are you getting me? But that's also an error. Uh, if you are there with a child, and then you use your last money to buy rice for that child, and then as the child was going to sit where to eat that rice, the child tripped. Maybe Satan put his leg there and then ch the child's tree. Satan. Let's put it that way. Mm. So you have no other money. So you have to gather everything and manage it for the child. You will find some stones inside the rice. But will you call it the, the bowl of that food uh, stones? No. It's still rice. But there are stones there now. The only thing that I caution to the child that when you are eating, be careful. That's the nature of the Bible we are holding. So is the Bible the word of God? It is a record or part of the word of God. It's a record. The Bible is a record. It's part of the word of God. You see, the Bible is a code. This word, we are in a, let me say, a, a battlefield. And when they want to send a message to you, they have to ensure that your enemy doesn't get access to that message. So if it is a message that your enemy can also have access to, then you are not safe on the battlefield. So most often, what we have in the Bible is the word of God, which was sent to God's people on the battlefield. And what came out of it, that's what has been recorded. So when you, who is in the current battlefield, you need something more than what is recorded, which is also available to Satan or your enemy. So you can use that to know that there is a God who can provide. But it is also up to you to now seek that God. The way those people seek him and he interacted with them, you also have to seek him that way. But normally we don't do that. And we, we take the Bible as 100%. Just as when they, uh, God granted some gift. When you are granted a gift, you think it is 100%. It is, no gift is 100%. Is, 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 is the Bible influencing Africa or Ghana uh, positively? Negatively. It is influencing... The Bible says by the fruit you shall know. If you look at the fruits in Ghana, you, it, it, will, it will show. By the fruits. If I put small salt in water, if I taste it, it will be salty. If I put small 
uh, sugar in water. It was sugary. So if you put the number of Christians in Ghana, it should be Christian. Eh? You should test Christianity. Mm -hmm. 30 years ago when I was growing, the quality of Christianity that I saw is not what it has deteriorated. Because? Because uh, what we claim to be Christianity is actually not Christianity. What, what, has, what, what has caused that? Uh, I will show you. It's also there. It's here. Go straight to the point and treat your topic. You are watching the biggest. Don't forget that. And we are treating um, story about God and his created humans. So Adam uh, died uh, uh, spiritually, but continued to live physically and gave birth to all his children up to us, uh, physically alive, but spiritually dead. So it will take Christ for you to have or regain that spiritual life. God, they say, when an evil spirit leaves a man, he goes to Rome. When he comes back and there is nobody there. Now, we have two hearts, a physical heart and a spiritual heart. It is a spiritual heart that when God's spirit comes, he lives there. Your physical heart only contains water, it pumps uh, 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 water and water, uh, blood. But the physical heart is a boat for either God or Satan. Now, so when Adam died, God's spirit left him. This is what Jesus came to restore. So we realize that when God created Adam, what he did was that he breathed on him the breath of life. And Adam became a living being. When Jesus resurrected, he did the same thing. He breathed on the disciples and said, receive the Holy Spirit. That was the Holy Spirit that led. We have the spirit of rebirth and the spirit for evangelism. That one that he asked them to wait until Pentecost. The empowering spirit, that's different. But the one that gave them the rebirth is what Jesus resurrected. The first thing he did was to breathe on them. Receive the Holy Spirit. So Jesus restored what Adam lost in the Garden of Eden. So the uh, Christians set off. And Jesus also, when he came, what he did was that there were a lot of things that happened in the Old Testament which they didn't understand. So he used that opportunity, that three years, to explain some of them. For instance, when uh, Moses said he saw God. Jesus came to explain that it was not God he saw. He saw what? He saw he, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. That's why, yes. He said, well, I go and read about the Old Testament. They all talk about me. So he operated from the Old Testament. But did, because, and you see, that is a revelation. They did not know Jesus as Jesus. What they knew at that time was God. So anything they see, supernatural, will be what? God. Like even John, when it was revealed to him, he saw a bed that when uh, a seal is open, something comes out of the mouth of the, of the bed. And when that thing falls on earth, a lot of people died. He was referring to modern day jet aircrafts and bombers. But he has not seen that thing before. So he referred to it as what? A bed. Hmm. So when God reveals things to you, in the context of your knowledge, that's what you will see. So... Uh, Jesus came to explain a lot of things uh, in the Old Testament that they didn't understand. And also, I will say something uh, uh, at this point. There's a difference between what the Bible says and what the Bible teaches. There are two different things. What the Bible says, everybody can read it. But what the Bible teaches, it takes revelation. And that one, no man can change it. So, they have been able to change some what the Bible has said. They have been able to change it. But what the Bible teaches, nobody has been able to touch it. That's the good side of the Bible or good side of God. You can temper with what he said here and there. But what he teaches from Revelation to uh, Genesis, nobody can change that one. Mm. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, we are going to prove uh, certain things here to see that there are people who are putting effort to also frustrate the system that it's not true, there's no God. It's not true, there's no God. It's not true, there's no God. All that you are here is a fallacy, etc., etc. Meanwhile, it is there. And you ask yourself, will God sit and watch? And the painful things that why God have sat down and watched that is that we, uh, we uh, I would say the Israelites or the Hebrews that he picked 
We are Hebrews and Israelites. Uh, uh, at least the black uh, Hebrews. As I sit here, I'm a Hebrew. Because I'm an Israelite. Yeah. Because how come? I will show you everything is here. Uh, go ahead there. <laughs> Let, let's warm up first. Yeah, warm me so, up uh, on Revelations platform. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> well, when, when we start from here, then we will end it. <laughs> so, uh, so I have to say some things, and we will see it there. Uh -huh. So, uh, it, all that Jesus came to do was to reveal some of the errors in the Old Testament. And I said something that there's difference between what the Bible says and what the Bible teaches. Is that when Jesus came around, all those who confronted him, they came, they went there with what, what the Bible uh, said. But Jesus always countered it with what the Bible teaches, with that very thing. But what the Bible has said here is it can be confined to a situation, a location. But what the Bible teaches is for the whole humanity. It runs from eternity to eternity. So you realize that they always confront him with what the Bible has said. So what does the Bible teach and what, the, what does the Bible say? A typical, a typical example is uh, uh, alcohol, drinking alcohol. If I ask somebody, let's say, from, let's say, Pentecost, to bring a topic or teach a topic on alcohol, you see, he'll pick the Bible. But the errors that almost all of them do is that, based upon their belief, they will select their own quotations. Hmm. And leave others. If I bring somebody from uh, Jehovah Witness, Jehovah Witness, mm -hmm. he will also use the same Bible, and he will select his quotations and talk about alcohol. And talk about how would it. he talk about? It? We want it, to know. It, it, will, it will tell you. You have to enjoy it. Jehovah <laughs> Witness. I tell you. I don't know pensa. Ah, even Catholic crowd, the Catholic they also take. Mm. But Pentecost, if there is a bottle here, he will go and pass there. He will pass. Holy, there. holy, uh -huh. full of grace. Meanwhile, everything is in the Bible. But when you ask me to handle this topic... Uh -huh. How would you handle it? First of all, it is not my topic. It is God's topic. Alcohol, no? Me see, or no, no, boy, yeah. Or no, no, the Bible, so I don't need idea. So why should I select any? I will select any. I'll put the Bible down. Start from Genesis to Revelation. Everything that he has given us about alcohol, I have to put it there. I'm not going to interpret anything. He will have to interpret me. Because the quotations, they will fight themselves. And the last man standing will show us who is who. Who is who? who, who, who it who is not my job to. Who the quotations be fighting that my young baby are holding? I see, yes. I tell us. <laughs> when you take alcohol, it is not sin. Okay. But it can lead you into sin. Okay. That's oh, the be vulnerable. Okay. Yes. It's not simple, but it can lead you into sin. Mm. That's it. And you are responsible for that. Okay, go yeah. ahead. So, uh, Jesus came eventually. And then one issue I would like to talk about is that uh, so, so the, the, the gift. For instance, Jesus came, he had a gift. And then Jesus also said that a parable about a garden that was created. And then when the, the owner traveled, he sent somebody to come and collect some of the fruits. When he came, they killed him. He sent another, they killed. Eventually, he sent his what? Best son. And they hurt him. And they kill him. So if the owner comes, what do you expect the owner to do? Jesus was not the only person that God had sent. He had sent others earlier. Why, no, why? I'm not in the position to, to see. But uh, I, I, I will explain, but I'm not in the position. But do you know where you are sitting? Yes, I know. Don't worry. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm be, worried. We'll get, we'll get there. No, do, who are those people? No, but Jesus, that's the parable Jesus said. Jesus himself said so. He did not even mention it. He said the what? He said a, 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 a garden was created and the owner traveled and sent uh, 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 agents to go and collect some of the uh, uh, produce. Then when he sent the first one, they killed him. Send the second one, they killed him. They killed him. And then the last one, he sent his own begotten son. And they who, killed him. Who are those who were killed? No, I said, Jesus, I'm quoting Jesus, so, but I'm coming now. Uh, to explain uh, how physical that thing is At around. Where? Here, the president is with us. Go ahead. Now, You've postponed people, more than everything. People look at the evidence of those who came before Jesus to say that the, the story about Jesus was uh, plagiarized. That was stolen from now those who. Now, you old see, if you, 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 you would tell us those who came before Jesus and saying this, 
it, that conversation will be well structured. Mm -hmm. But you see, because even their names in the world has been tempered with. So I don't want to go there. Uh, so how are we going to discuss this? Uh, who, who, <laughs> no, I'll, you were telling us something. Yeah, now, you see, you've said that three times right now, that this came, this came, and Jesus came. Now, we don't know who is this came. This what this I'm saying, right now, as we sit here, the story about Jesus, there are other stories comparable Which to Which is? Uh, some worldly idol story Which about is? Trinity. Well, tell us which is what. Uh, in fact, <laughs> I got those things <laughs> in passing. So, <laughs> because my main uh, emphasis is on this thing. So, when, and I hope our listeners, uh, some of them are well versed in those areas. That no, no, no. You, that you <laughs> can't so, say that. You came here to educate us. Yeah. You brought your own topic. I didn't give you topic. It's true. And you are no, giving I'm us. I'm saying something in passing. But in I'm, passing main, that you can't mention names, then you, you'll be saying a lot of things the, the, in No, 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 no. We are not going to say a lot of things. Where I have to go into details, I will go into the because of So time. you want to say what you want, not the rules of the platform. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 No, sorry. this is not sorry. <laughs> who and who died f before Jesus came? Who? Who are those? Even if their names have been tempered with, you are saying that people know. So what is making it difficult for you to mention now? No, what I mean is that Jesus gave a, a parable. And you know and the I'm people, that we are not parabling here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please, we will come back Who to this. Who are those? <laughs> We will come back to to to. to Do we to have that. to go and sleep and come back for for the names? Please, I can't quote the names from memory. That's why this thing. Uh. Are you sure? Oh yeah, that one there. Yeah. I've written some down, but I can't. And so some of the names are very long ones too. Don't worry. Those uh, far east uh, you names. Cry your Osro, no fellow. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. long, long this thing. <laughs> go uh -huh. go so ahead. I don't want to commit myself. Yo. Uh -huh. So, so 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 uh, that's it. So when Jesus came, he actually uh, went on the cross. Some will say that it was not Jesus who was crucified. Some will say that somebody else was crucified. All those things were fabrications for you to place doubt on what God has said about the gospel. Because the Bible says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. So if I don't have that faith, initial faith, uh, faith in that God, I'm even out from day one. So those who are targeting us and God, first of all, want to remove faith out of the system. So anything which you put a question mark on your feet, this is what they are going to introduce. And I will show you a lot of those things. Go here. ahead. For instance, when, uh, when uh, uh, God himself says without faith, it's possible to please him. And faith without works to is dead. Then it means that if I have faith in God today to do something and my faith is right according to his standard, he is obligated to perform. If he doesn't, tomorrow that faith will not be there again. This was what or how the apostle, the initial Christians were operating. And when we read in the Bible, for instance, as the apostles, it's activities of the apostles. There's a kind of faith that when you have in God, he's obligated to perform. If he doesn't perform, when we also get there, we are going to question him. So he's mandated to perform. But those who want to stifle the system, who are creating a world without God, what they want, first of all, is for you to lose that faith. And they have almost succeeded in doing that. And we'll see some of them here. So once you don't have that faith in God, that means all the things you are doing, you're only wasting your time. Because the first thing for you to deal with God is your faith in him. It's very, very important. Even Jesus had that faith before dealing with, with him. And then uh, when I said some came before Jesus and they fell off, Jesus also could have fallen. For instance, at the point of temptation, he could have fallen because he has so much power. And having seen how vulnerable human beings were, you could have assumed that power because mankind by nature uh, has that uh, temperance to uh, assume, assume, assume uh, some power over uh, his or uh, subordinates. But Jesus saw all those things and said no. But 
those with, uh, who came before him, they came and they saw the glories in the world and everything, and they fell off. But Jesus did not fall. You, you can't mention those, those who did that. And I explain why. So, it don't, is, so yeah. don't, don't quote, so, quote them. So Jesus came and went on the cross, and he was actually crucified. So the issue as to whether Jesus was a personal human being who came on this earth, whether Jesus was crucified on the cross, whether he resurrected, these three things have been answered. There is no argument about that again. They have been hiding the truth for a long time. And unfortunately, there are church leaders who are involved in this. This 419, I will say so. There was this guy who discovered some of these things. And his church disowned him. First of all, they got to me and they said, that shows that their denomination is the one that God has approved. Because they believe that anybody who is not in their denomination is lost. So when that guy discovered that thing, they said it's a, a proof that God has approved of their denomination. The guy also said, no, this is not about denomination. It's about right now, everything you are saying is a church. We don't know where Don't worry, you, you will get there. So they disowned him. And when they disowned him, what happened? He is now dead. All his discovery almost got lost. Uh -huh. And this is what some of us have been trying to bring out. And uh, years back, when I sent even this thing to a printing press for them to print for me, they, mean they sabotaged me. They make the picture so blurred that I couldn't put it on the shelves. So do I spend money on it? And those who work on it were also Christians. And even seeing uh, uh, those things, no, it never pricked them that, hey, into Adia Yampa. They were prepared to destroy my work. This tells you how corrupt the Christians who claim to be in Ghana are. So it's their fruit that is showing in the, in the country now. Mm. So uh, we'll go there and then uh, any question you ask, we'll bring other Go ahead. Things. Yes. It was somewhere uh, in 1960 that a Turkish pilot spotted the remains of Noah's Ark. When he reported the incident, Religious leaders came around and rubbish it. That it was a, a natural phenomenon. When I say natural phenomenon, like you are going to where then you see a rock resembling a human being out of uh, uh, nature activities. So they say well, it's a natural phenomenon. Somewhere in uh, 1960. So I was, uh, it was in 1983. When I was in secondary school, that I heard that they've seen the West Ark. So I said, hey, but that was in SU. So now when we are reading the Bible, you would say, hey, so the story is true. So the story, at that point, we all see the thing like, uh, always when we read, you put a question mark on it. Because anytime we see uh, Noah's uh, film, the Ark they show, you ask yourself whether animals like elephants can, can be uh, hosted in this structure. No, no, they were doing it intentionally. For us to put question mark on the activity. But this act, later we'll see how it, it is. Now, this now is 1987. That's the same act. The remains of the act. I won't say the act, but the remains. Because the act has been there over uh, 6,000 years now. If you bury your, your, your great 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 grand uh, parent, 6,000 years ago, if you go about looking for it, I don't expect you to go and see a full body. You will see some bones. So, like we can say, this, uh, this is the bone of the ark, the remains of the ark. And it was discovered by Ron White. Now, those who disowned this one, who said it was nothing, they were Christians. They were Christians. But they went and saw it and said, no, it wasn't. But Ron White discovered that, no, that's it. And they researched. Now, this is what was used to roof the ark. The back of a tree, treated with coal tar. We ensure that no water can now go through it. This is what, how, what they use. Now, it has become, uh, when you knock it, it's like a, a, a stone. Like a stone. And these are some of the rebates used 
to hold the woods together. A blacksmith rivet. Uh, this is a rusted one, and this is a polished one. You can see the back, the, the hammer work on, on, on the uh, head of the rivet. Over 6,000 years, but it's still there because they use alloy, alloy rivet. And the technology used. I wonder if Ghanaians, uh, engineers are asked to construct the act, they will be able to do it today. Now, the brown portion you see here is what is there today in the ground. And those ash vertical ones are the beams, the wooden beams remaining today. And you can see the height that have been measured over there in, in feet. The yellow portion is what has been eroded. It's not there. Now, the total length of the arc is 550 feet. That's over seven plots. If we take uh, seven feet per plot long. So like seven houses long. So now they have now admitted that the ark has been what? Found. From it is not the ark. It's a natural phenomenon. Now, today, today, they have admitted that it has been found. Mm. So the story in the Bible is true. Now tourists go there. And there some people, when they realized that this thing was going to happen, some have also created some Noah's ark in uh, America, which in Ghana can also create its own ark in order to generate uh, some, some money. So that story about Noah is settled. It's, the story is true. Just uh, three weeks ago, social media, somebody just uh, brought a, a content that something has been discovered in Iraq. It looked like it may be the Noah's Ark. Meanwhile, the fellow was aware of this. So I have to respond whether the fellow was trying to raise an issue of doubt about the existence of this. Mm. Uh -huh. So that means there are active people it's not about a spiritual thing. Uh, physical human beings who have organized themselves to frustrate every activities of God, mm. which is going, going on. Mm. So it's not a matter of going to the, uh, pray about all those things. That's why Jesus went to the temple with the king. When he gets to some point, it's not about prayer. These are uh, human beings, blood and, uh, 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 and this thing, who are doing it. Okay. Now, let's talk about humanity now. Here we are. This is the cause of 90% of all our problems, idol worship. And that 10%, I would say, our ingratitude towards God and self-centeredness. Years ago, radiation from outer space fell on Earth. And when uh, the other radiation, we call it electromagnetic radiation, when that thing happened, a day pregnancy that experienced that radiation, when the uh, new uh, child comes out, he or she may lose the coloring matter, melanin. So it becomes what? Abino. When that thing happened, uh, the, the father will not understand. And they send it to the fetish priest. Why? Why this? And they label the Abino child as having come from the spirit world to come and spy into our activities. From day one, the Abino child becomes an enemy of society. Even today, it's still going on. So, they started using Abinos for their sacrificial idol worship. It continued. These are some of the victims of those uh, sacrifices. Now, in order not to kill the whole human being so that they will lose some of the past that they need for those uh, activities, they will cut your, 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 your hand. At that time, they had the opportunity to cut another hand. They will be cutting you until you die. Albinos? Yes. Mm. And me and you who are not Albinos, we could have been born Albinos. 
Because you never chose to be who you are today. Yes. And this thing is going on today, today. They are hiding and doing it. Okay. And is it yeah. working? It, you uh, will come there. One of them asks certain questions. So when God said we shouldn't worship idols, God foresaw all these things. God foresaw all these things. So they have to be confined. Otherwise, they become a target to Abino past hunters. Now, this girl has a, a question here. I feel bad because I still don't know what they did with my arm. Where is it? What benefit they derived from, uh, from, from, it. It, from it? Whether they were able to somehow use it or simply dump it. Now, and then another Abino uh, child asked, with all their faculties intact, the Abino hunters claim to be struggling in life. How do they expect those of us who survive their attacks to cope? Hmm. You, you have everything and you say you are struggling, so you need to have no part I mean, I mean, I'm a PSC, I'm a I'm a How do I survive? Who will be here now? 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 How do they survive? Now, the most important thing about this issue is that the whole society seems to be unconcerned. Uh, African Union, they have never discussed this issue. Because some politicians, when they want power, they go through the same process. Hey, yes, Abinos. I tell you. Mm. They go through the same process. Can they explain why they have not uh, talked about that issue? But whatever they use them for, does it work? What is, How will it what work? is it about them? How will it work? How will it work? Because if what are the process you are doing is fake, because you will come to uh, a point and you will see. Go ahead. Now, look at this girl. Because of that, he can't go to school. So he's having home tuition. And at a point, she said she, she wants to become a, a doctor. She wished he can join the children in the other school. But the, the mother is afraid. So he's giving her home tuition. Hmm. Now, this Abino Association uh, guy, he says something here. We do not melt in the sun. These are all allegations created by uh, people to make their past more attractive and be hunted. We do not disappear. Why do they say they disappear? Now, they hide and kill them. Then they, nobody find them in the society. Then they say they have disappeared. Somebody have killed them. All. So when they label them having disappeared, that means they are, uh, they are spiritually powerful. So people hunt them more. For what? Oh, for the juju. Does it work? How will it work? special about them that they hunt them? See, they are going to uh, mine, uh, how do you call it, uh, Galamsey. And they say, you need that one for some uh, preparations to be prepared for you before you can make gold, some quantity of gold. So once they discover gold, then Abino's lives are at risk. And we are practicing. And our authorities don't concern themselves about these things. Look at even the killing of uh, those uh, labeled which women labor. Look at the way they are dragging their feet. Look how many years now. Look at the churches. What are they talking about? When Jesus told the parable about the religious leader seeing a victim who has been attacked and walked on, that is not different from the situation we are in today. And we say we are worshiping God. Hmm. So we put worship, the, uh, what God defined as worship aside. And we have created our own worship. And our own worship is what allows some of these things to go on without any comment. If it is God kind of worship, 24 hours will not <laughs> see uh, all those evils in operation. Because worship is service, service to mankind. It's not going to church. Too. 
You see, everything worship God. You see the footwear. He worships you. He provides some service. That's why you spend money in buying it. The day he doesn't offer that one, when you see children play with you, you will not even bother. That means he doesn't worship you again. He doesn't serve you. So worship is all about service. When Jesus was walking to the tree and he couldn't get fruit, he cursed the tree. But the tree was meant to provide what? Fruit. So everything that God created, they said for his own pressure. When he was going to create man, he said, let's make man in our image and let them have dominion over our creation. So we are going to be like watchman for God's creation. And that's the worship God gave us. Mm. That is the only worship God gave mankind. Our gathering in a meeting place, which they call church or chapel, they have abused it. It's not meant for worship. When you gather, it's not meant for worship. Mm. We gather, when he, he, the, the Lord's Prayer said, lead us into temptation. It was part of it. When we gather together, we help one another. We want to lead one another into temptation. Because if you don't have food to eat, as you are going on the way, you can fall into temptation. But when we meet and everybody is satisfied, you don't fall into temptation. So we gather to solve problems among believers, not to worship God. Because I said, when two or three, when we meet, he will be there. When you are going to worship somebody, do you go there or he comes to you? When you going to worship somebody, do you go there or he comes to you? You go to worship. You go there. When the queen of Sheba wanted to worship uh, Solomon, he went there. So when God said, when you meet, I will come. That means he wasn't coming for worship. He's coming for what? To, he was coming to serve us. Mm. So God is coming to serve us, not us to serve him. So we need to sit down for God to serve us, not to worship him. No, he's, that's his, uh, because you see, this is a battlefield. This is our Egypt. We cannot serve him in Egypt until we get to the promised land. Mm. So when Jesus prayed that lead us to the temptation, how to make sure that your soul and his spirit that he used to restore you hmm. is intact. Ew. That's all that God is, is doing. Yeah. So this has been no issue. It's one of the things that I've learned. Look at somebody. This uh, 500 years ago, she was sacrificed life. And this thing was discovered about three years ago. But this thing happened 500 years ago. This will tell you how long we have been practicing some of these abino killings. When you watch this film, Apocalypto, it shows how blacks were sacrificing abinos for the idol, which I think I have some of them captured here. You see, that's a, a Abino or a white person being held down. Uh, the person has been dragged, so cannot struggle with them much. Then they will use a knife, a crooked knife, to open the left side of the heart. Why is the fellow is not dead? Put their hand inside the chest and pull and out the, the heart, heart and show it to their son God. And show it to the Assam God. Right now. Mm -hmm. So, an instance, look at, uh, let's say, a black person wearing the coat of an Abino uh, skin. They skin the uh, Abino and turn the skin into leather. This were all happening because of what? I don't wish. We will we will continue this conversation. Mm -hmm. But what we want to you go ahead. What we want to understand right now is that you go ahead. Uh-huh. So for instance, the killing of George Floyd. Ah. That's the killing of George Floyd. Are they no you have been spiritually? No. Or oh, you're black. Uh-huh. Now the then president, when he came out, this was his response. He picked a Bible. And show it to God. He stood behind the, the church, behind the White House. Pick a Bible. That was his only response to the killing of George Floyd. He was making reference to this. You people were showing oh, other people's heart to your, your son God. He is showing Bible to God. Mm. Who is better? One thing I like about George, uh, Trump is that he speaks his mind, even when he's wrong. 
He speak, but when he gets to know the truth and he change, he will also tell you. Okay, right now, our time is due for today. We will continue this conversation. But right now, what I want to understand is that your topic is story about God and his created humans. Yeah. So well, how, what do you combine this albino killing and Jesus and uh, everything that uh, you said? How do you complete this? Let's assume someone just plays his channel here okay. and would want to understand everything you have said in just three minutes and understand your topic, the story of God and his created humans. What will you say? Okay. In a, a short uh, presentation, I have to rush through this thing so that the picture will be clearer. Okay. Now, having done with this, having done with this, when I told you that I'm a Hebrew, this shows the map of when we were sacked from the Middle East. Who, by the, who was sacked? Uh, the Hebrews. Mm. and the blacks by the Arabs when Islam came into being. And Islam came into being because of our idol worship. We are going to church as Islam worshiping idols. When they brought Islam, they drove us and we ran into West Africa. So here is the map of West Africa and you can see the kingdom of Judah. When we came to West Africa, we established the kingdom of Judah in West Africa. Hmm. Before the white man came in, the kingdom of Judah was in Af West Africa. And some people who did not actually understand some of this will tell you that uh, Cardi of eating, eating was in Africa. Actually, it was not. But rather, when we ran into Africa, the cities over there were also established here. But when the white man came, they destroyed most of these uh, uh, cities. Uh -huh. And when we were coming, the, the uh, Bible, but then the scrolls, we hid it in the ground. That now become the Dead Sea Scrolls which has been discovered, when they backdated it, it falls to the day that, date that we ran into West Africa. Now, here is the crucifixion of, of Jesus. Jesus was eventually crucified over the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant, which was supposed to be in the Holy of Holies, was not there during the time of Jesus. Because 500 years earlier, when Nebuchadnezzar uh, uh, was going to capture Jerusalem, Jeremiah went and hid it in Zedekiah's cave. So that Nebuchadnezzar would not touch it. It was on top of the cave that Jesus was crucified. So the day Jesus was crucified, uh, when the, uh, there was earthquake, the ground splitted. When they pierced his side with the sword, his blood also went inside. Where they put the animals, but Jesus' blood also went there. But they didn't know. This thing was discovered 40 years ago. Mm. And then the thing written on Jesus, the king of the Jews, this is how they place it. It is not here. Small like this. It's like a window size. One of these is like a window size. So that from uh, this thing you can see it. So is it, is it the same killing that was going on? Uh, which one? The same albino killing. No, that no. Was going. This one is Jesus. I'm talking I about understand the uh -huh. Jesus. I, I want to understand how the killing The killing uh, was due to adult worship. Okay, go ahead. The killing was due to adult worship. Uh -huh. So now, uh, when you read, they will tell you that, when you read the Bible, the Bible says that uh, when they wanted to find out whether they were dead or not, I, I want to explain how Jesus found himself on top of the ark. This was the initial position for the three of them. Jesus, one, is the white one in the middle. But when they realized that they have succeeded in killing Jesus or arresting him and to, they are going to kill him, they didn't want any confusion that people would say, it is him, it is not him. So they had to separate Jesus from the two of them. So they moved Jesus from the middle to this portion, four feet higher. Against the wall, this is a hill, Mount Moriah, on top of which Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac. So they moved Jesus to this portion. Then they wrote against this wall. The written was not uh, uh, upon the, the cross itself. It was at the back of Jesus, against the wall. And Jesus, they moved his position to here. That's where it coincided with the hidden, uh, high, uh, this thing, Ark of the Covenant. And now, the stone used to Covered the tomb too. It was discovered down there because as he, he this is the ground ground level, modern day ground level. So he saw something here. Then he said, "This might be uh, uh, Jeremiah's uh, Gruto. 
So when he got home, he said, ah, why did I say that? He did not understand. So, uh, God's message comes in pauses. Sometimes you say something, if you look inside, you say that, no, you were not the person who was supposed to say that thing. If you examine it well, you can know whether it is uh, something new that, uh, so when he said, he pointed the thing, so then the person was moving, he said that, oh, then we'll give you permission to excavate. So when he said, ah, why should I, I'm also not an archaeologist. So why should I say, but because of his former experiences, like faith and works, God has tried him in other things. He said, no, this might be from God. So he went and did the research, and he came to excavate. Upon excavation, he came across all these walls. He came across all this. Then he noticed all this and discovered the, the stone, uh, uh, the rolling stone that was used to cover the tomb. And eventually discovered the ark. Now, so this is how this is crucifixion uh, platform look like. They move him from here to the top against the back of the mountain. So this is how they uh, put the signs. So that there is a path here that when people pass by, they could read the writings. Now, there is something here. This is what uh, Ron discovered. This is the rolling stone, the actual rolling stone that the Romans used. Okay, they are saying our time is full. You will come back to continue this. So that people, you, I don't want you to rush through it. I want you to take your time in teaching us. So we will actually get the, the, uh, the knowledge in, 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 in its fullness. So right now, I want you to address the topic the story, um, the story about God and his creation and also albino's killing and Trump in two minutes, in one minute. Our time is passed. Okay, past. okay, I'll do that. Yeah, the fact is that there is God who used to be alone and envisaged having us in partnership and created us. But some enemies interrupted his plans. But he also provided solution before even we were created. And still, those enemies working in partnership with our own humans, some humans, are trying to hide all that God is trying to do. And their objective is to create a world without God, where they think they can control the whole world. And they are almost succeeding. Uh -huh. So, uh, only some few people are standing to the truth now. And when you stand to the truth, they are not going to leave you alone. They can even kill you. Even the little that I've been saying, uh, the sort of threats that I've been having. But I ask myself, what is life all about? I ask myself, what is life all about? I bet you what is life all about? When you have the full details of the conversation, no, you remember what turn the bono what stretch I'll be no for no as a minimum year. Now you so being so knowledge be better on any better than say now more can about be no issue. Now the platform is open to all. Papa, thank you so much for coming. Please, you come again to continue this conversation for us. Abusia, enti no um dia daya besu ya eni petri. Aha ni yadi mo bedru because ya mire no aye be. But or beba no ababe twa asemu we say so ye pese ye mu especially a be no for nu wona omu wuno ye pese ye shu shemu ye ni ye te ase e no ka ba bi so ye very pro, uh, profound statement or say ye su mo dano soni gu the ark of the covenant and so i think it needs explanation and you know mesre mo na mama me ho kwan na wa ba na wa beto so if it is life write it in the comment section if it is second chance please write it in the comment section thank you so much for your time your credit and everything we do appreciate thank you so much